Okay, we're going to do a short review of how we use the uh, new pH meter. That's this thing right here. This is a new handheld pH meter, really easy to use. Alright, the first thing you're going to need is some Kim wipes. That's these things right here. The solution that you're going to measure, in my case I have a 10% uh, sodium bicarbonate solution. And then you can use either a small 50 ml beaker or a 100 ml beaker. And uh, I also have a larger beaker. Uh, you don't have to use this, but I'm going to use this for a uh, rinsing step because I don't have a sink right here. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to remove the cap from the pH meter. This may take a little bit of strength, so pop this cap off. Be careful because there is a, a little bit of solution in this cap and uh, that's what protects our uh, pH electrode, this little glass bulb here, when we're not using it. So this cap I'm going to either put into the 50 ml beaker or the 100 ml beaker and uh, that's going to help me keep from losing this thing. So uh, once we set that aside, uh, we're ready to go. We're going to turn on the pH meter by holding down the power button it has a uh, circle with a small line uh, through it which most power buttons usually have and the word mode next to it so we're gonna hold that button down for a full second there we go alright so immediately you're gonna see a uh, pH reading we're gonna take the pH meter and you're going to put it into your solution and that's going to give you uh, your pH of the solution uh, here we have a 9.27 reading for the pH which is about right because uh, sodium bicarbonate is uh, slightly basic so anytime that you're going to uh, change solutions or uh, put the pH meter uh, back onto its cap or its cap back onto the pH meter we're gonna have to rinse the electrode because we don't want to keep any of the uh, the uh, things that are inside this solution here that you're measuring the pH of we don't want any of that stuff to be stuck on the electrode because that's gonna wear it down and make it make us not able to use it in the future so we're gonna rinse that here I have a, a larger beaker that I'm gonna use to rinse the pH electrode with so I'm gonna hold the electrode over the the larger beaker you can hold it over your sink if you want to and I'm gonna use DI water it's at your table and I'm gonna rinse the electrode you gotta get in there really good and rinse all around everywhere where you had that solution give it a nice shake and I'm going to wipe around the electrode make sure I get all that juicy stuff off outside there and that little glass ball there the actual electro bulb there we're gonna just tap it very gently with this Kim wipe so after you've done that you're ready to put your cap back on here I have the caps numbered so if you see this cap is number eight this pH meter is also number eight when you're ready to put this back on you're gonna have to make sure that there's a buffer solution inside that cap in case we spilled any out when we were taking it off that happens very easily so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our pH meter to the side and we're gonna take some uh, pH 7 buffer that's this right here it's a pH 7 buffer solution and we're gonna pour some into a beaker just a little bit and after we poured some into a beaker, we can take our plastic disposable pipette or dropper and we can suck some up. And inside this cap, there is a small cylinder or circle. We're going to pipette the solution down in there. You may or may not be able to see that, but when you're doing this, look in there, you'll see it and once you've done that, once that solution is in there, we're ready to uh, put the pH meter back in there. So we're going to 
hold the power button for one full second again until it says off. There we go. So once it's turned off, you can now put the, the cap back on. You can do this by leaving the cap inside the beaker that you had it in and pushing down to snap it on, or you can do it with your hand. You know which way the cap's going to go on by looking at the numbers. So the numbers should both be on the same side. That's how you're going to know which way the, the cap goes on. Okay, so basically that's how you're going to use this instrument. If you have any questions about calibration of this uh, piece of equipment, then you will have to talk to your instructor.